Hey gang, I realize I'm a bit late for the party on the auto scrub and the glide by Nanoskin. However, I'll do a video on it anyway. There's a couple very, very important points um, to make on the product, especially storage. So I've kind of worked this product into about 50% of the work, the um, pre-correction work. Uh, I don't see it going too much uh, above that, but um, I love using the clay to see what is pulled off of the car, and I don't think I'll ever get pulled off of that. You can't see that with the auto scrub, um, and uh, what you do pull off gets absorbed by the clay. It won't get absorbed by the auto scrub. It kind of gets just rolled around in there if you're using it for the DA, it, and that's how I use it. I have it attached to the Griot's Garage 6-inch, and uh, I use the glide diluted in between the 7 one and it calls that it calls for and the 10 the one that you could use it for as a clay as a clay lube itself so somewhere in between there is just right if you go any more than that you're gonna have you're gonna have it suzzing up on the panel that you work on and it, that's it just shows it it's a bit too much so without any more hesitation let's get on with the video All right, so as for the glide, you could dilute it somewhere between seven or 10 to one with purified water. Don't use tap or well water. You don't want hard water getting in there and maybe causing some tiny uh, scratches or marring. If you drop the pad, just simply pick it up and rinse it off on both sides or take it to a sink. Um, I attach it to my Griot's Garage here. It fits perfectly. It has this uh, soft backing here, which is great for getting in the contours or the character lines of just about any automobile. So I'll grab the glide. Um, I just do half the hood at a time, uh, half of a panel at a time. I'll apply the uh, product liberally and um, put a nice thick layer on there. And uh, I put a nice thick layer on the pad as well, uh, kind of priming the pad, so to speak. I'll normally lay the tool down on the panel, get it started, and then uh, actually lift up a little bit, take a little bit of pressure off of the tool. Normally during polishing or sanding, I'll let the weight of the tool um, do the work and guide it with my hands, but I actually have my hand cradled to the side and underneath it, <coughs> excuse me, and kind of lift a little bit of the weight off. All you need really for this uh, tool to work is to make contact with the panel and let it glide back and forth nice and smooth and it does the work on its own. I'll use this basically on cars that are lightly soiled or lightly contaminated to medium. If it's uh, a vehicle that hasn't been cleaned in forever, it's, it's going to get the clay bar all the way around. Now here's a tip that may help you. I know it helps me um, in preventing any kind of scratching or marring because a clay will absorb while anything that gets caught in between this pad and the panel will just kind of roll around in there and, and do a little marring. But um, I'll do a couple passes or half a panel and I'll lift the pad and I'll rinse it uh, aggressively with whatever I can get, a hose or a bottle or whatever. And I'll use my uh, compressed air or forced air um, if you don't have access to that, a nice soft uh, detail brush would work. Um, if you need to get a little bit of uh, mild APC in there to clean it out, go ahead and then blow it out or brush it out. Keeping that pad clean, just as in sanding or actually polishing, is huge to prevent marring. So I hope that helps you. It helps me. I do it probably in between 15 and 20 times. Uh, I know it um, it doesn't speed anything up for me. It really slows you down, but uh, it I'd rather be slowed down a little bit and make sure I'm not marring the vehicle. Uh, if it does mar half the fender that I'm working on or half the hood, I know I can easily remove it because the car I'm working on is going to get corrected anyway. When it comes to speed, if you have a dial like this, hover somewhere between two and three, or if you have the other, uh, if you have the other dial or speed indicator, stay somewhere between 900 and 1200. 
anything faster than that the pads gonna start really wobbling around and you're also gonna start throwing around um, the product it's gonna sling everywhere which brings me back to another important issue the product if it suds up more than this uh, you may need to cut it a little bit I know if it gets soapy and sudsy uh, you're using too much of the product and you need to cut uh, if it looks something like this you're you're perfectly uh, you're right where you want to be on the other end of the spectrum if it's too dry you'll know that too the pad will catch the uh, the pad will grab onto the panel and you'll know it's too dry and you you have to add some more product so after we're done here we'll take a nice blush microfiber get rid of whatever residue or product is left over get it off the panel dry completely and something that I really um, enjoy about this product and the auto scrub is how smooth it gets the surface it uh, feels like glass and glossiness and shininess comes from getting the surface you're working on as smooth as you can Something that is absolutely huge with this, uh, with the auto scrub, and especially the mitt. When you're done using it, clean it thoroughly, and then put it in a uh, an area where you can contain it, contain it from dust and dirt, and also be able to let it dry. So I choose to put it in here. You can use Tupperware or whatever you want to use. I put the lid on. I poke some holes in it. I also pull it back up again so it can breathe and let the uh, pads dry. All right, so that's how I store it. That's how I kind of let it slowly dry out. That's how I clean it, and that's how I use it. Um, this is not going anywhere in my routine, but um, I do have areas where I can work that in. So if you have any questions at all, or you want to um, add in the comment section how it has uh, worked for you, has it replaced your clay bar completely? I don't see that ever happening. Um, but it, I just love how it makes the surface of your paint smooth. It's, it's awesome in that aspect. So um, I will definitely keep using it as much as I can. This is Brian from Apex Detail. I will catch you in the next video. Ooh.